Nick the Peasant Pizarro here with another uh, game of Dota. This time around, it's going to be Team Liquid versus MVP Phoenix. Uh, these are the playing qualifiers, or the wildcard finals, actually, uh, for the International 2014. So if you're not familiar with that, um, the teams that didn't make it uh, to Ten seconds to the go. very top spots have to play each other to try and secure Five spots seconds. international. So these games are very important uh, for both teams. So far we have some pretty interesting picks. Reserve we have um, time. a Lycan, Shadow Shaman, and Marana for Team Liquid, Doom, Bristleback, and Dazzle for MPP Phoenix. Uh, all very strong heroes. And uh, we see that um, the meta's changed a bit actually since um, since the previous uh, set of games they played, where they were playing at round robin uh, for the qualifiers, uh, we usually we would have seen uh, Lycan banned and maybe Doom banned, and definitely not um, a Tidehunter ban or a Blue ban. But things have changed, and Batrider being picked on the fourth Radiant. pick is definitely very different from uh, from what we usually see. Given this, also might be because these teams haven't actually faced up against each other, and it could be because. Um, they come from different regions, so their uh, preferences band. in terms of uh, heroes and strategies are a bit different, so that bands and picks won't necessarily line up as uh, directly. Uh, but it should be an interesting game so far. A lot of action, I imagine. All these heroes, a lot of kill potential. Ten seconds to um, go. Very dangerous lineup for both teams. Five seconds. Interested to see if, if uh, MVP is going to go for uh, a carry time. here, or if they're just going to stick with sort of an earlier game lineup. Given, well, Slark and Bristleback and Doom all have carry potential, but um, a little bit less so than someone like, well, Void's banned, but someone like a Luna Ten or a PA or something like that. Uh, so it looks like um, Five seconds. Team Liquid ha has yet to pick their mid hero, Radiance and band. MVP Phoenix is without, um, what are they without? Came with this a little bit late, so I haven't been thinking too much about it. Bristleback is probably going to be off lane, Doom, I imagine, mid or safe lane. Uh, I guess maybe Ten Slark will be. So, MVP Phoenix needs to pick up, I'm imagining, their last Five support. Seconds. It looks like Team Liquid needs to pick up their mid, although Marana could go mid. Both these teams have lineups that are Reserve hard time. to predict, um, kind of difficult to guess where they'll be going exactly for their lanes because um, a few of their heroes are quite uh, flexible in terms of where they could they could end up so should provide for an interesting dynamic here uh, so Bye. the last bans coming out here are ban on Tinker so that's going to be to prevent Liquid from picking uh, Tinker mid who's been a very popular mid lately uh, just a hero with a lot of uh, a lot of potential all around. Very, very strong uh, late game hero because of the fact that he can use his skills um, on sort of like an infinite basis as long as he's not being killed once he has enough mana. Uh, and then if you couple that with Ten Sheep Stick, you can to go. Uh, keep people CC'd Five indefinitely uh, with like a dig on E Blade. That's a ton of damage coming out. Marching Machine's always good. So Death Prophet going to come up here for mid. This is a very strong pushing Radiant lineup from Team Liquid. Uh, with the Shadow Shaman, with the Lycan, with the Death Prophet. Um, if uh, MVP Phoenix isn't careful, their towers are going to melt quite quickly um, under the wrath of, of uh, Liquid's lineup. This is exciting! I, I, <laughs> I'm going to be going to TI4 in, uh, in a little bit, so seeing these matches come up uh, gives, us, gives us all a to chance to, to get a taste of what's going to be coming quite soon, Five so seconds. I hope you guys enjoy this match. You're probably watching the official streams, but I'm giving it a shot here Reserve on my own, time. Uh, just to try and improve my, my uh, casting and uh, yeah, get, get into the games a little bit before I end up heading out for uh, TI4. So uh, MVP Phoenix still looking for the last pick here. Uh, they have a lot of options. It depends on how they want to lane. It depends on if they want to choose someone specific to fight Death Prophet. OD still available. Doesn't really fit into the lineup that Ten well, but uh, to go. always a good counter against intelligence mid-based heroes. Um, a Viper might seconds. also be possible, potentially. Um, so Witch Doctor. So they're going to stick with, looks like, probably Dying the Slark or the Doom mid. 
Koiva on the Lycan, Bulba playing Marana as expected. He's going to be offlaning way too here on uh, the Shadow Shaman. Uh, Phoenix is playing Bristle, March on M uh, on Doom, Ryson playing Dazzle, QO on Slark, and then the last three guys have yet to pick. We think Hype Pegasus and TC. Uh, TC often plays mid, he's the captain of the team. Sometimes he plays more of a farming role, so uh, switching it up a little bit here. Um, I'm still waiting for the last pick coming out of uh, MVP Phoenix. Sometimes teams do this, they have a full 60 seconds and most of the time, it's pretty predetermined who's going to be playing what. So, um, ten seconds to go. They might just be discussing strategy between themselves here. Um, Five seconds. Okay, so the teams are up. This and, should uh, be I'm interesting. Gonna spectator chat because it doesn't really add anything. You can do a little bit of settings here, actually. So both teams actually coming here down bottom, um, and they're actually going to meet up here, I think, unless one of them smokes, so Liquid has a sight advantage here. They're looking to wrap around and find someone. Uh, little did they know that uh, MVP is actually all there, and if they do spot Slark, Slark could die here. Um, so that's going to give sight on Slark. Battle. Death Prophet manages to hit him once. She's got the Immortal set, so all her spells are going to be fancy. I think Liquid's going to notice that the rest of the team is here. They do manage to hit March. This could be dangerous for March. He's stunned for a good five seconds. They're going to put some damage in on him, but they should be okay. Meanwhile, HyperX, a little bit of... I mean, Pegasus in a little bit of trouble. He's probably going to die. I mean, he's cutting through the trees, but he doesn't have a Firefly to escape with. And uh, some bad positioning from uh, Pegasus there. And that was a quick first blood, almost before even the first... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, the first uh, horn went off. I'm not sure why uh, the rest of the team decided to abandon that. They could have gone in and, and gone for a quick kill on March, but not really the prime target that they would have liked to have hit with the arrow. Something like the Witch Doctor or the Dazzle would have been a lot better for them. So that might have been why they decided to back out because they didn't feel like it was going to be uh, an easy kill for them. Batrider managing to get back out to his lane without too much trouble, but uh, he did give a kill to the other team, so that's not going to be fun for them. Koiva farming here in top lane. Looks like it's going to be tri lane. Trying for an arrow here on mid from Balba. So that's going to be the Doom mid against the Death Prophet. Doom tends to do reasonably well against Death Prophet because um, he uh, he has the regen and uh, he can get farm even if um, even if he's being harassed because he has Devour. So all he needs to do is get close enough to click on a creep. So he's taking a lot of damage here. Uh, TC looks like he's got his bottle coming his way, so he's going to have a lot of regen coming out of there. Um, Pegasus up against QO. Pegasus likely looking to make up for the fact that he fucked up uh, previously when they were trying to gank. Um, not going to be able to keep those sticky napalm charges off, but uh, using them uh, plus the firefly here to get some kills on the creeps. Give it up. Uh, note the, the reduction in damage because of Batrider's nerf. He does now does half damage with firefly to... Uh, to um, enemies instead of, or sorry, neutral creeps instead of non-hero units <laughs> instead of uh, the full damage they did before. So they're running an aggro try here, and that's pretty good. Uh, oh, Ryzen just ate a slam from the, the Hellbear Smasher. Pretty annoying uh, neutral to deal with. They're going to go ahead and actually grab the farm from the, the pull that these guys did into it. Um, so not really what they wanted there. Uh, Koiva is actually by himself here, so this is kind of a dangerous position for him. Um, not sure if MVP's aware of that. Bulba wants to find another arrow here, um, and March actually doesn't have sight here on the rune, so if he does come up towards it, he could get hit by an arrow. Um, looks like they might be trying to set something up with Way2 uh, using his shackles there to hold him in place to make sure that they can um, get the stun off. So Pegasus here matching up against... Uh, QO on the Slark. He's behind on last hits. Slark actually doing quite well, uh, even with Death Prophet in the mid lane. Um, 
which is interesting because uh, Barrow does have the range advantage, um, but Kyo seems to be playing it quite nicely. He did get the uh, a stick, which is quite essential when you're playing against a Bat Rider because of how much he spams sticky napalm. So if you're able to get a stick, you sort of minimize Bat Rider's advantage in lane uh, because every time he uses his abilities, you get to uh, get some some mana and health back. Um, so Koyeva getting pressured on the tower, but he's trying to use his wolves here to uh, absorb some of the damage. Um, I'm not sure if he's using uh, aggro dropping to make sure they don't die, but uh, it would be advisable if he could do it. Heen taking full advantage here of the potential pulls. Koyeva, not a fan of what's happening, is actually going to go in there and, and grab uh, the last hits on those guys. And that's going to give him a nice little boost in, in golden experience if you can get it, uh, if you can finish it without them realizing. I think that um, Heen is aware of what's going on. He's going to sneak down there and grab some of the XP. Stark's actually five at this point. They're wrapping around. They really want to kill March here mid. Um, that's the bottle coming out for him. And we'll see if, if uh, Bulba can hit the arrow. TC. Radiant Spark Tower is under attack. <laughs> Uses the wave, he's backing up, he's got the bottle going. Way too coming in from the side here. March looking to oh ruin his bottom, so that's not gonna happen. He they actually have <laughs> all the supports here admit, and there are four liquid players here. Bat Rider here as well. He's gonna go ahead and grab that rune bottom. Um, I wonder if March suspects what might be coming to him right now. Um, TC again gonna wave, I imagine, here to keep the the Creeps push forward, wants to try and hit March with it so that um, he'll have reduced health when they do eventually come in on him. Uh, with the wave, is going to pressure the creeps on the tower and reduce the uh, chance of them being. Oh, so there's there's this shackle. Rana coming in with a jump. Oh, saved with the uh, shallow grave, but I don't think he's going to make it through. They managed to pick March off. Pegasus on top of Dazzle. Nice haste rune there, allowing him to firefly with ease. So that's a double kill there for Liquid and. Um, Helps them catch up a little bit here on, uh, on the graphs. They do have an XP advantage with their behind on gold, but not significantly. But that was a great move there from Liquid. Um, they're lucky that it went that way and not another Radiant's way. The haste room there on Batrider really attacked. helps a lot with uh, chasing down Radiant Dazzle. Might not have happened otherwise. Have Meanwhile, Slark is level 6. Bat, um, going to be level 6 as well, and he's preparing the jungle um, for some pulling. Going to use his napalm there to get some easy experience. Slark, not aware of this, is just going to push the tower. Um, so it's good for both of them, but probably even better for Bat, given that he wasn't suffering a little bit there in lane Dyer's initially. Top tower is under siege. If we look at um, Mount Worth, Slark is leading. Oh, the arrow comes out, does manage to hit Forev. Um, he does have his back turn, but it's going to be too much damage for him to stay alive. That Hal from Lycan giving a lot of extra bonus damage Dyer in the early stages, um, especially to heroes. Uh, so he's got a level 1 who's attack. all heroes plus 14 damage. Uh, with three heroes, that's a lot of extra damage coming out. And we've seen some pretty great arrows from Bulba, actually. He's been um, pretty on target. I think I, I haven't Let seen him miss yet, I think. I no, he missed once on, on March mid when he tried to hit him. So March here has got... Oh, he went for a bottle crow, and uh, that's rune. Not sure where. He's got two supports here. They're gonna try and gank on TC. TC. <laughs> oh, that's a DD on QO. So he's the one who got the uh, the rune, and that's a nice easy kill for him. Um, really uh, dove death prophet pretty hard, but uh, without really mana for his ultimate, um, TC wasn't really able to do well, much to defend himself. To oh, boy, was in trouble. Gets doom. Not gonna be able to go into uh, wolf form, and he's dead for sure. Nice pick off there. They don't, um, Liquid actually doesn't have any wards up on top lane, so they're quite exposed Radiant's when it comes to that. Middle tower is under attack. Pegasus continuing to farm here bottom. Slark continuing to farm in lane. Radiant's middle tower is under So we'll see what these teams decide to do. Uh, like I noted before, Liquid does have a very strong pushing lineup, so perhaps once Shadow Shaman hits level 6, they're going to try and push out some towers. Lycan could push right now uh, in tandem with TC, and looks like that's what they might be trying to do right now. Uh, TC's going to keep nuking down the waves and eventually use his ghosts, I imagine. Meanwhile, MVP pressuring here top lane. Bristle and Dazzle, a very good lane for sustaining and taking out creeps. Um, Radiant's middle tower Not much is that uh, they can do Dyer's about them cutting that, but they're going to go for attacked. the mid lane, and Radiant's that was a quick tower, tower destroyed in seconds. <laughs> uh, 
didn't even have to Dyer's use his ultimate, so just Hal coming out of Hoyva there Dyer's doing a ton of damage. So Pegasus, what he's going to do while his team is pushing towers, he's going to go ahead and get some farm. He's going to get his Blink Dagger before he can be really, really dangerous. Actually, he does have his Blink Dagger, but he's just finishing up the farm here on the creeps in the jungle. Um, really should back up in case he gets picked up. And that's going to be a quick Roshan here on the 8 minute mark. Um, Shackles helping them control him. TC using his Ghost to do damage nicely to Roshan. Koiva, um keeping his wolves alive for the most part. Um, and they're going to be able to take out Roshan. They are coming in though. Kyo does have uh, an idea that this is happening. And he's invisible so he could grab the Aegis. Oh my goodness. He steals the Aegis and Lycan dies. Brutal end for them. Uh, they do manage to take him out immediately, so that Aegis is down, but uh, that's a, 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 an Aegis that Lycan should have gotten and not the other way around. They're going to see if they can deny, so a denial here on way 2, they're not going to have him die. Batrider's grabbing uh, Witch Doctor and putting him up on the ledge. He's dead for sure, so he's going to fall. Kuro does manage to pick off the Mirana. Batrider's going to sneak away here, but... Um, that was not a favorable engagement for Liquid at all. They were taking the early Roshan. Um, let's see, who was killed? Damn it. <laughs> I'm not sure who got the kill. I'm pretty sure that uh, Liquid did get the kill on the Roche, so they got the gold, but they didn't get the uh, the Aegis, obviously, and Lycan died, which is pretty shitty for them. Uh, quick Shadow Blade here out of QO means that um, he can initiate like we just saw him do. Um, and really uh, take advantage of his regen. Attack. So whenever he's not in sight, whether it's in his ultimate or uh, just not being seen, so Shadow Blade applies for that situation here. Dyer's bottom tower is under siege. So TC here hanging out mid. Doesn't know there's so many people behind him, but should be okay for the most part. Um, don't imagine they'll be able to jump right onto him. Dyer's bottom tower is being attacked. It's been a pretty bloody game so far, almost to kill a minute. Uh, not not crazy uh, violent, Dyer's but uh, tower is under attack. quite quite busy so <laughs> for a game of this importance. They're going to see if they can go ahead and, and grab the Slark. I think Bat's going to try and sneak in from the side. He is smoked up. Uh, he does have support in the way of Heen in the back, um, but Slark backs up, so they're not going to get that chance they were looking for. If we look at items, we see that um, some significant items, there's a... Uh, a Vanguard up on Bristle, plus his Treads. Uh, treads and a Shadow Blade on QO. Uh, phase Boots, not that important on March. Koiva's working on his Vlads. Pegasus does have his Blink Dagger. He's working on a Force Staff now. And TC has um, his Boots in a Bottle. Pegasus gets caught by the Slark Pounce, but the Burn should take him out. Oh, just barely. Doesn't quite finish him off. And that must be so infuriating here for Liquid. They're... Kyo keeps just barely surviving with his Slark, um, and he's going to keep snowballing. He's got that net worth Dyer's going for him. Um, it's going to be a bit of a problem for Liquid if they can't take him out um, before he's able to pop his ultimate. Baldo probably wants to land another fortified. arrow here, but he doesn't want to hit Thoreb, so he's looking to get a, a shot here on March. Uh, March does keep moving, so it's making it a little Don't bit difficult. It takes out the range creep pretty hard, but no deny either. Bristleback man just get the kill there. Fallen. So this game looking a little bit rough here for uh, for Team Liquid. If you look at the graphs, it's starting to go in MVP's favor uh, for Golden Experience. Um, Liquid really needs to group up and, and uh, take some team fights here, but they keep getting picked off. So there's a smoke again. They're gonna find Pegasus in the jungle. He gets Doom. Doom really throwing people off. Um, not allowing heroes with easy escapes to get the escapes they would have liked. They're coming in now, they want to try and pick him off. We'll see who they decide to go for. They're going to go on Ryzen. Tries to suicide into neutrals, no luck. They're going to keep chasing gear onto Phoenix. Phoenix gets grabbed by Way2. Um, Parts just laying the damage onto Way2, but not enough damage. And QO is coming into support, so that's two kills each. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Uh, with, a, with a bottom tower taken down by Keen. We'll see if they try and, and move on to Heen now. He's going to back up. Lycan might try and keep sight. Nice arrow here from Balba. And oh my goodness, what a beautiful arrow. Almost hits him. Only misses because of Heen's awareness there of the arrow coming in. Um, but that was great. Uh, a great prediction of where we would be going. So... Uh, <laughs> MVP's got three hero heroes here leading on net worth. Bristle and uh, Slark are pretty far ahead. Um, 1,500 each over their next contender. A little bit more for Slark even. Um, Pegasus here, going to keep farming the jungle. Going to try and get his four step up next. Going to help him a lot with... Um, 
ground people out of position, but he can't do that if he's getting ganked in the jungle. MVP making very good use here of smokes. <laughs> I don't know if you guys probably didn't notice, but the, the counter just went up by one. Maybe someone... Oh, by two. Maybe they're they're impressed by MVP's play. Um, <laughs> so they're buying penance to support them. <clears throat> I don't know if you get any item bonuses or something for penance. Probably not. Anyways, uh... <clears throat> Liquid not out of this game yet, by any means. They still have a lot going for them. Uh, Kyo here is just farming the jungle rather brazenly. Oh, that's an arrow from Marana. He dodges it, catches it right at the end of this, uh, the, the arrow's duration there and notices it's coming at him. MVP doing a really good job here of dodging arrows that uh, normally you would expect to have uh, hit the target. Way too, just farming a little bit here on bottom. Does finally have level 6, 13 minutes into the game. If he's not contested, he could push bottom tower, but it's a little bit risky for him. Meanwhile, MVP preparing, looking for probably another gank here. Uh, but the wolves are following on March, and he gets one hit off before it dies. Uh, March does have the haste rune and a doom, so this is going to be very scary for Team Liquid. Um, they might just choose to push another lane, which just looks like that's what they might be doing. Koiva going to go in here on mid. Way too does throw his, his wards siege. down. Notice that most of them here are top lane, so he might be able to take bottom tower. This could be an excellent trade for Liquid. If they're able to get this without too much damage um, on themselves. So Koiva going to keep pushing. Imagine he'll attacked. probably alt uh, somewhat preemptively so he doesn't siege. get jumped and doomed. They're going to take the bottom tower here unless they come and Dyer's defend it in the numbers. So Slark here so that's a, a tower for a tower. Tier 2 arguably more valuable um, than a, a tier 1, but that's going to help Liquid a lot with sort of equalizing a little bit on the um, on the gold. So 5,000 ahead here for MVP, quite significant. Not looking especially great for uh, Team Liquid. Let's see if that... Uh, so the haste rune has been popped from a Doom, a little bit less dangerous than he was before. Still a worthy opponent. <laughs> Here we have uh, Lycan's harassing, or watching Keen, choosing not to harass just yet. Koiva going to keep fighting through here, looking to get what looks like probably a basher. Um, it's interesting he's not getting a BKB, probably because figures the Doom's going to mess him up anyways. They might be able to grab Kyo, Kyo if the arrow hits. Arrow hits! Bulba's going to go in. He's popped the regen, so he's going to have mana for sure. There's the lasso, and that's Kyo. It's finally going to fall. That kill's going to go to bat, which is quite nice for him. He has his force staff up, as well as his blink dagger, so he's pretty well set for, for gangs coming in here. Another beautiful arrow by Bulba. This time, Kyo didn't notice and wasn't able to dodge it. Uh, Bulba using his flame break there, I think, in an attempt to keep his regen going, but uh, was a little bit late casting it. Way too starting to throw those wards Radiant out every chance he gets, looking to push structures. down these towers. They're coming up to defend, so if they can defend, they'll have quite a lot of gold available to them. Actually, one of, one of Lycan's wolves is stuck here uh, in the wards. <laughs> and uh, Way too doing a pretty good job here of, of targeting Shall down uh, Dazzle while he tries to kill the wards. So that's going to be quite a lot of gold for uh, the Radiant from farming those wards up, but also a lot of damage on the tower. So next time they come around, they should be able to take the tower out. DD rune here bottom. Neither team is aware, but I imagine one of them will pick it up soon. Ball by using Flame Break to get a lot of damage down on on, uh, on these neutrals. And I think he's just going to go ahead and kill them. Oh, what a nice guy. He's letting Way2 get the farm. Probably because Way2 wants to get... Uh, Blink Dagger, which is quite uh, effective on Shadow Shaman. It's a ton of CC that can come in from a distance. He does get that reach. Um, they're going to go ahead and push bottom. Wards aren't up quite yet, but um, nor is Roshan. Well, Roshan will be up soon. Looks like MVP is just going to push mid and see if Radiant they can pressure Liquid into fighting. Meanwhile, Koiva is going to push top. Attack. He's going to be able to take out that tower if uh, they don't come respond. TC going to take out uh, bottom tower here with his ultimate Radiant's quite easily. Has the vitality seat. booster working on, Dyer looks like, actually I'm not sure, Radiant's and a staff? I don't know. Maybe he's building his heart partially. Tower has been destroyed. Bulba watching Radiant's from behind. Tower is under siege. Koiva should be able to take this tower here top. He sent Dyer's his wolves into suicide, get some extra siege. damage in the, in the head of him. Um, he's rushing attack. it so much, doesn't Radiant's even bother with the timing last hit. He needs to TP back. They need to defend the base because they're taking a ton of damage here. 
Texas does manage to grab Ryzen. Ryzen's probably gonna fall. Oh, does manage to get the Shallow Grave off. Kiwo jumping in here on a... Uh, he does die, so this is a pretty good fight here. Keen gonna get killed by Lycan. Lycan's gonna finish off the Witch Doctor with those annoying heals. Um, nice Etah slow on uh, 4F. 4F gonna die as well, so that's 4 for 1. A great fight for Liquid. They came in just in time, almost lost their mid tower. It's in deny range. They're probably not gonna deny it though. Notice the gem here on Batrider. Batrider, a great carry of the gem. I hope that they'll go for uh, for the Roshan now. Koiva's gonna check. He sees Roshan's up, and they have a great opportunity here to take Roshan. Uh, <laughs> this time without Slark coming in with fucking with them. Although they might not have quite enough time. No, they're gonna go for it. So uh, that's a rod of Atos that uh, TC was building. Was not expecting that. Not an you see very often, but. Um, Quite an effective one if you're able to use it properly. Um, and that's a ton of items coming out here for uh, for Liquid. I wonder if Bulba's building a pipe or is he making a mech? Nice Roshan kill there for uh, for Liquid. This time no Slark to come and steal it away from them. Uh, Koiva's gonna go ahead and cycle over. Oh, so Koiva's building a Necro book. A lot of anti invis coming out here from. Uh, from Team Liquid. I mean, obviously the Necro book's not just for the anti-invisibility, it's also for the pushing power, but uh, it's going to make uh, Slark's Shadow Blade a little bit less uh, potent. And this this friggin' little mouse scroll thing. Maybe I just pulled it down and scroll like this. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps scrolling forward. MVP Phoenix looking for a gank here. They're going to go... They're going to go left or right. They're not quite decided. So we're going to wrap around this way, and we'll see, we'll see if they decide here to try and get something done. That's interesting how you can zoom past the default. <laughs> Getting all distracted. So the blink is up on, uh, on uh, way two here, so if he can get a jump on QO, it's going to leave him pretty nicely set up for a kill. Uh, the rest of the team is in behind them. They don't know that. We'll see if... Oh, Samrana's going to use her ultimate here to engage. We'll see if they manage to spot Heen uh, beforehand. Bat's going to blink in. Does manage to grab him with the lasso. There's the silence. Shadow Shaman, he's dead. He was so incredibly dead there. And I think Liquid's going to keep pushing in this case. Um, they do have the bul the Bulba. They do have the Marana here top. Um, it's going to be a three on three bottom. Oops. Whoa. Just called in my console for some reason. Um, we'll see if they decide to fight. That Dazzle ult will help them a lot with, uh, with not taking as much damage from the ghosts. March is going to fall. Like it's going to take him down. That's another shallow grave. What an annoying ability. He's probably going to get away because of it. Koiva's going to have to back up out of the distance of the ward. Uh, looks like these little men are going to die. No, not quite. Um, meanwhile, Bulba's just farming mid, so they're going to say, okay, that didn't work out quite as much as well as we would have liked, but um, that's okay. Notice that um, with these nice plays that Liquid's been making, they've actually been, uh, I think they're pulling ahead, yeah. So they, they're pulling ahead now. They managed to reverse that lead that MVP had on them, and now they're pulling ahead into into the late game. Uh, Pegasus making really good use of, of Bat's ability to pick people off. Uh Got at least two pickoffs there on his nemesis Slark, who showed him up so nicely in lane after he gave up that first blood. Um, a smoke again here from MVP, but they're not going to find anyone. There's no one bottom, and I don't think they're going to be able to get uh, in range of anyone in time. Koiva, meanwhile, has a Necro 3, gives him a lot of pushing power. We saw that uh, the Necro 3 down at bottom earlier. Um, way too working on an Aghanim Scepter. So, this is going to be a team with a very, very strong push lineup. And it's going to be hard for uh, MVP to contest that once to get all their stuff down in one place uh, with the Necro books, with the HAL, with TC's Ghosts, with Way 2's Ultimate. Um, we'll see if you can get level 2 on that at some point. Would like to see Bat come by and um, notice this ward, although it's unlikely. Kind of a uh, unique ward spot. We'll see. He might check it. He might notice it now. He's going to go ahead and kill these creatures in the bottom. Will he Firefly? <laughs> grabs the end of his room, kind of cute. Checks for a ward there on the Ancient. Heads back over with the Firefly. Um, is he going to notice the ward? I don't think he noticed the ward. Too bad. Don't know why it's lagging here. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. 
So, looks like a fight going to be coming in here on, on top. MVP does know that pretty much everyone is top because of that ward. Oh, just barely misses Ferev there on, on the arrow. Um, so they've been revealed out of invisibility because they use their their staff, but they're not too worried about that. Meanwhile, um, Slark is pushing bottom, so if Liquid does choose to take a fight here, they should be able to take Radiant it pretty easily. Um, that's a, uh, a Dazzle ult again, trying to Dire help them a little bit with sustaining. Oh, picking up, the, picking up Ryson again. They're going to look to pick him off quickly. Will he die before he can get a Shallow Grave off? That's a kill there. A nice easy kill for Liquid. People are taking a lot of damage. Kyo here on top of TC. TC quite tanky with uh, all the armor that he's got. Trying to survive as long as possible for his ghost to be damaged. Koiba's going to fall. Does have an Aegis. This is turning into a bad fight here for Team Liquid. There was a buyback from Ryson, I think, here. Yeah, to help defend the tower. Pegasus here looking, trying to get something happening, trying to help his team out, yeah, using Firefly to get Sight up and around. Uh, Koivan looks like he's probably going to die. Way too, using the, the Shackle there to, to buy time for his teammate to run away. There is a ward there, so they know that he's going to be there, and oh man, this is disastrous for Liquid. They were doing so well, uh, that fight went really badly for them. TC wasn't able to stay up long enough, they kind of focused him down, that Doom... Uh, Slow them down considerably because it disables all your abilities. So that means that you can't use phase boots and you can't use uh, take advantage of your 20% extra movement speed. Uh, this might be the end of their mid tower. I'm not sure they're going to be able to defend it. Bat's going to try and throw a flame break in there to soften up the creeps a little bit. They do have some AOE damage here, uh, but that's another dazzle alt going to leave them a lot tankier. And there's no uh, fortification available. Okay, so everyone's back up. Lycan spot back. They're going to look like. They're going to kill Ferev. Not sure if it's worth it for them to go all all out on him. Um, the rest of the team's going to back up. TC's going to have his ult up again in a little bit. So will Way too. so they're ready for another push if they do want to take it. Uh, Bat does still have that gem up since he didn't die, so they're doing okay in that department. He's actually got the most farm out of anyone in the game, which is kind of interesting. Um, he's been doing a really good job of farming those jungle camps and getting kills, so it makes sense. They did manage to save the rack, so uh, when I said I wasn't sure if it was worth it, I guess it was worth it. Bulba did go for a mechanism, so playing a little bit more of a support Marana. Later on, he can um, take advantage of the farm he's getting and get some stuff that's a little bit more offensively minded, but uh, for now, it's suing his team quite nicely that he's there to help with uh, purchasing some of those items. Um, a little bit difficult for Shadow Shaman to keep up, and they do want him to be able to get... Um, Pegasus doing a good job picking out the wards. Uh, they do want Shadow Shaman to be able to get some items to, so he doesn't just uh, die immediately. Unfortunately, he's still working on Aghanims. There's a big stack here, and uh, they're going to get a lot of experience from that. Liquid doesn't know what's happening, so... Uh, these guys are both already... I uh, don't oh, know. Not quite level 16. So QO... Just the whole team's going to go ahead and grab some experience from that camp. Um, QO almost at level 16. People, I'm surprised how low level these guys are. No one's level 16 yet. Interesting. Um, not what you'd expect. Although I guess they're only 26 minutes in. There has been a lot of fighting and dying. Liquid, the clear fan favorites here with uh, 6,000 penance to MVP's 1,000 penance. Pegasus hanging out here on the side. Not sure what the game plan is there. Not sure why he was hiding there. Um, he's going to go ahead and pick up that in his room. So give him a nice initiation on top of Marana's uh, alt. Roshan's still down for a little bit. So. Wondering what TC's getting. I imagine he's probably getting a Shiva's. It makes the most sense. Uh, not really a good reason for him to get an AC. He doesn't benefit that much from the attack speed. Um, let's do another items check. So Scotty now up on Slark. That's quite significant. A Shiva's up on March. Uh, Doom showing his ability to farm uh, quite well. Meanwhile, we have Blink up on Way 2. Atos up on the Death Prophet, which we saw earlier. Necro 3 working on, I think, an AC here for Koiva. Um, BKB up on the bat. 
as well as a gem, and uh, Marana playing more of a support role as God Dyer's does. Smokes tower has been destroyed. etc. So, manages to cancel the TP there for Kyo. Kyo could be in trouble, although the rest of his team is in there to back uh, Pegasus up, and he's going to have to abandon. No, he's going to go for the grab. Oh, and the arrow hits straight on. Another beautiful arrow from Balba waiting for the stun to, uh, to end. Does manage to get the lasso off before uh, he gets doomed. That's going to be a ton of damage coming out on Kyo. Kyo gets killed. They're going to cycle over here onto March if they can. Shiva's is up on TC now. He might die, though. He's taking a lot of damage. The Witch Doctor ult manages to silence that to prevent it from continuing. Keen's going to fall as well. The Ato's paying for itself in spades here. Preventing a ton of people from being able to escape uh, from otherwise pretty easy um, scenario. There's the grab on Rice and Liquid, really turning this around. They came to try and save the Slark, but um, in the end, they got themselves all killed. We'll see if Bat uh, checks out. Oh, there aren't any more wars here to pick up. Uh, Koyeva here wants to go on Forev. Uh, there's the Flame Break. The Flame Break? No Flame Break. So they're going to go for the base instead. They're not really too concerned about uh, dealing with the, the Bristleback, as annoying as he is. Um, and that's going to be, oh, not quite a melee Rax. Pegasus backing up. He's going to manage to distance just barely. Uh, so he'll be able to escape. And there goes way too. Uh, they did get a bunch of damage here on the melee Rax, but it has quite high regeneration. So if they can't get back to it in time, um, that's not going to end up falling. Roshan should be up any second. So Rosh is up now. We'll see if Koiva notices it. So yeah, he's making an AC. Does throw his wolves in there. Knows that Roshan's up. Should be able to kill him pretty easily. That's going to be another Aegis here for Liquid. Really taking advantage of the, the dire side. Um, advantage on Roshan. Meanwhile, MVP looking. They know that Roshan's up, I imagine. And they're coming into uh, this war. Going to give them an excellent sight. Give them that. Yeah, that saved them from being engaged on and destroyed. So they might actually here try and uh, go ahead and wrap around on MVP. There's the Dazzle all They think that uh, Liquid's going to be in there. They don't know that they've been spotted. Uh, meanwhile, Liquid... I feel like Murana's going to try and use her ult to engage. Oh, just barely misses with the arrow. So Liquid needs to go in here, otherwise they're going to lose uh, the Roshan. There's the Silence. TC's going to use his ult. Doom on TC, but he has used his ult now, so he's got a lot of damage coming out. Hopefully they'll be able to save him from March. Dazzle's going to fall for sure. March is going to die as well. Hugo is running in from behind, but uh, they have sight on him with uh, the Necro dudes. Oh, it's a lot of damage. Way 2 is going to die as well. Forab trying to save himself with a blade mail, but he's going to die. Oh, Bulba just barely gets away. Well, the cast hit him. The cast doesn't hit. Another arrow. Oh, a beautiful arrow from Bulba. Just sniping out the arrows. That's going to be another kill on QO. He can't escape. He did get the Aegis, so they managed to finish, finish off Roshan. Meanwhile, Pegasus is playing around with Heen. Heen's going to die for sure up there. is going to see if he can escape, but uh, it's going to be a risky proposition for him. Another arrow here. Oh! <laughs> Bulba sniping with the arrows. Just brutal. Not even fair. It's like he has a homing arrow. Some sort of crazy upgrade. Um, Dyer's middle barracks is under attack. So, I kind of want Liquid to win. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell. Siege. A little bit biased. Uh, they did lose the range racks here top. Uh, I didn't really catch wind of what happened there, or how that happened, but um, TC showing how tanky is. That's going to be a pull in here on March. A little bit risky. He doesn't have Doom up just yet, but uh, they don't want to commit too hard here. Uh, Liquid's probably going to look to regroup and then push in. Aghanim's up on Witch Doctor. That's a lot of damage if he doesn't get silenced or stunned or something else. Um, let's see. Did, did Shadow Shaman finish his... No. <laughs> the life of a squishy support. <laughs> you dream of completing an item at some point. Because <laughs> you're just dying all the time. He's doing pretty decently, though, on, on his uh, item progression. That looks like uh, TC just finished his... Um, yeah, he just finished his AC, so that's really nice for Liquid there. There's going to be a whole lot of damage coming out in the next fight. AC synchronizes quite nicely with uh, the Ghost, which count as uh, physical damage. Um, as well as, obviously, Lycan's attack also counts as physical damage. Um, I think Koiva's just running back here to heal, so he's taking advantage of the increased move speed. Bat really making use of that gem, making it uh, quite a nightmare for the other team for MVP. Uh, to try and 
get sight up on the map. Notice they only have, well they've got two wards, so they're even on wards, but uh, Bulba, I mean if Pegasus passes through mid, it's going to be a pretty easy D ward for him. So the whole team has five moving out. I think they're going to swing towards mid. They want to try and get uh, one of those racks down because they're tired of getting their lanes pushed in. There's the smoke. They're going to see if they can find someone in the jungle. Currently, um, MVPs all grouped up on each other, so uh, they're not going to find anyone there in the jungle. So, okay, they are going to go for a push on bottom. I guess maybe TC's saying, well, I did some damage here to bottom tower. Can we go ahead and try and hit that? Um, yeah, they're going to swing in here. Nice. Pegasus is going to get up in the base, actually. Going to give them some nice sight here. Um, MVP is aware that there are a few people pushing down on bottom. There's the arrow from Balba. This time it doesn't hit. Shadow Shaman Ultimate. They're going to use the um, the war the the uh, the fortify to save the tower from the damage, um, and that's going to leave them with uh, just some still a significant. They did like a good uh, 800 damage to the tower there without any uh, casualties or much risk even. Um, we'll see if uh, if they're going to try and pressure another lane in uh, in a little bit. I imagine they might want to wait for Shadow Shaman's ultimate to come up, so another 75 seconds. Bulba here with a Ghost Scepter going to allow him to live a lot longer during fights. Uh, Pegasus knows there's a regen ring, goes ahead and snags it quickly. I wonder if he's going to come mid and notice his ward. <laughs> It's always curious to see like if there are awards that are remaining when there's a gem up. You think about like the chance of him not going in that one area. So the game's slowing down a little bit here. Both teams sort of positioning, trying to farm up some key items for the next big fight. Forev working on his uh, on his hard rask does have a pipe up, looking to help his team with uh, that magic damage that's coming out every fight. Pegasus grabs Kyo, pulls him into the arrow, so that's going to be a stun there. Starfall coming out. I don't know if they'll be able to finish him off in time. And Bulba TP's back? Back to base. Huh. I guess he felt, well, we're not going to kill him in time, so it's kind of risky, so I'm just going to peace out rather than risk dying um, in the name of a failed gank. So smart play from Bulba there. Uh, Koiva just farming at bottom. He's got his AC, so he's just tearing into these creeps here. And notice he's kept his Quelling Blade, which has allowed him to uh, keep up his pushing power throughout, because that extra 32% damage against creeps is actually quite significant when you're clearing them out um, with melee attacks. Balba wants to kill the Doom. Oh, the War Trap! Lines him up for a really nice arrow. Doom's not going to be able to throw out his ult before dying, so he falls. Uh, Kyo right in the thick of it, wants to kill TC, but I uh, don't think it's going to happen for him. Did pop his ult, so he's vulnerable now. There's going to be the silence, uh, doesn't really hit much. Kyo does get uh, cheeked. Those ghosts doing a lot of damage. Kyo saved with a shallow grave for now, but Pegasus has his eye on him, and he doesn't want him to get away. Throws the flame break, doesn't quite get it before the expiry on the BKB. Nice arrow coming in on 4F's uh, face there. Oh, Bulba manages to grab, grabs the gem. We'll see if he manages to if he can get out. Oh, there's the the witch doctor all, and the gem is hidden in the trees. So, not sure if MVP knows it's there. I don't know if Bulba did that on purpose either, but uh, they're gonna need buybacks here if uh, they want to defend their base. Uh, so there's a buyback from Morana, and there's a buyback available on Bat, so they can defend if they need to. A little bit of an unfortunate fight for them there. They did manage to pick off on Doom. Doom did buy back. Um, but uh, Slark got away without them being able to follow up as much as they would have liked. Eric Bat's out. Way 2's coming out. He's going to try and pop a shackle. <laughs> Slark has to juke to avoid the uh, the arrow and, and in doing so breaks his TP. Pegasus wants to grab someone. Doom does have... Oh, he's used to, so he used to in the previous fight. Alright. Oh, meanwhile, Koiva ratting it up. Gonna take out the top barracks. Got the melee barracks. Not much he can do to stop him. 
Um, <laughs> Kiwa coming back to defend, but they're going to clean up on the remaining three if, uh, if they don't back up soon. 4F so tanky there with uh, Bristle's armor. Dazzle using the ultimate to give him a little bit more survivability. Baba not gonna doesn't have an arrow and doesn't know that uh, the gem is still there. <laughs> One thing to push up through mid and try and retrieve their gem. Baba could have tried to arrow there in the trees, but it was on cooldown, so he wasn't gonna get it off in time. So Koiva going full rat. <laughs> Not even with boots of travel, just runs over there and goes for the snipe on uh, on top lane. A great decision by him, leaving his team with an advantage there in that lane. They do have range racks down in mid, but it's not super significant because it's only one out of <clears throat> five or six creeps that spawn. So <clears throat> not as much as a pain to deal with as uh, two full racks of upgraded creeps pushing through. So TC going to use his illusions here to push the bottom lane a little bit. Another uh, gem bought from Bulba. I don't think he realizes that his gem is still hanging out there in the trees. Uh, but he doesn't mind too much. He's found uh, so much utility from it. Uh, he might be buying it for Bat. No, it looks like Bat's inventory is all filled up. And Bat, I think, is going for a uh, Lincoln Sphere to make him a less likely target for the Doom. Roshan not back up yet, but he's going to be back up soon. Koiva leaving his um, wolves there. Going to let his team know exactly when it comes up. And it should be coming up just any second now. Yeah, so Roshan's up. Liquid's aware of it. They should be able to take another Rosh, push another lane. Um, and it's looking quite nice for them right now. I don't know why they're using this ugly ass Grieveling. <laughs> Boots to travel up now on Koiva. He's doing one of my favorite strats when you have double boots. <laughs> Preserve the uh, stats and the attack speed from your power trip until you get a better item that you can sell. Um, so MVP here. Moving in on Roshan. Liquid is aware that it's up. They do spot uh, the bristle with the arrow, so they know that um, they know that they're in there. Meanwhile, MVP throwing down um, a lot of detection here. They do have sentries up, so they'll try and get an idea of when uh, Liquid's coming in if they use Marana's ult to, to go in. Balba gets doomed, but uh, not in a super favorable position for MVP. He's going to be able to back up and survive this, most likely. March trying to TP out while the Shallow Grave. Oh man, he TPs out with the Shallow Grave. Meanwhile, Bristleback taking down Roshan. Balba throwing in his Flame Break. Wants to try and pick someone off. Way too. Oh man. They're just always going on Forev, and it's pretty annoying for them because he's so tanky. Um, Bulba's going to grab Ryzen, going to bring him up onto the cliff. So he's pretty dead. They're going to be able to finish off Perev. Um, Waitu's going to be able to evade that. And uh, the Aegis went on to, and the Cheese went on to Slark, actually. Well, somehow Ryzen got out of there. Oh, he did have a Force Staff, so uh, he's trying to buy himself some time, but Pegasus picks him off pretty easily. Uh, Liquid did lose the Roshan there, but they did get two kills out of it, and they didn't lose anyone. Um, managed to avoid Bulba getting picked off by the Doom, so pretty decent fight for them. We'll see if they can uh, make something happen out of it before Slark gets the rest of the team to support him in the next team fight. Bulba with uh, <laughs> three kills, two deaths, and 16 assists. Doing a really admirable, admirable job there as the support Marana. Grabbing some last hits where you can find him. Good for him. Interesting to see what Koiva's going to get next. I imagine he'll sell this TP scroll. He doesn't need to hold in his inventory anymore. So he's going for a heart as well. Um, Team Liquid really aiming to get uh, a lot of tankiness. A refresher orb. I was expecting in Lincoln's, um, but I guess he's already got BKB, so he doesn't need it as much. And the refresher is going to let him go ahead and CC down someone for an incredible amount of time with uh, two lassos. That's eight seconds of. Uh, BKB proof uh, CC. So way too, I think he's gonna. He's got Agonims up now, which is nice for him. Might try an ult on the tower. They could take it out with uh, with an ultimate there, but MVP Radiant's ready to middle defend. Tower is under attack. The gem still hanging out there in the trees. No one's come to rescue it yet. Not sure if people really know about it. <laughs> So that's an illusion room top, not super significant um, for either team really. Koiva gonna push bottom. He's 
got his uh, his minions going out, and he's running away with his uh, ultimate. I'm gonna go ahead and just hide in the trees here while they do their work. March using his slow, I'm trying to slow him down, but um, Koiva still doing a lot of damage here with the creeps. March manages to pick him off. So uh, not probably not what he wanted in terms of the push he was aiming for. Probably didn't know that an MVP was going to be there. But meanwhile, Way 2 here is going to push out bottom. Um, this is Blink allowing him to do a lot more in terms of uh, his movement across the map. He's going to push bottom and hopefully pressure the other lanes uh, by doing so. If he does manage to get creeps inside the base, someone could potentially uh, do a backdoor on, on their base and take out um, the racks on bottom lane, but I don't think they're going to try and do that right now. We'll see if TC decides to pop his ultimate here. Um, he could probably take the tower if he does so, but uh, they're going to go ahead and just uh, satisfy themselves with taking out some creeps, some ancients. MVP moving towards mid. Koiva continuing to farm here on bottom. He's got most of the money he needs to finish his heart. He's probably going to keep some money though for the buyback. Um, just in case. Pegasus also likely farming a buyback. Has a refresh orb, so in the next fight he's going to be a pretty big presence. I'm really wondering where this next engagement is going to come out. So they're looking to go on here on bat mid. Uh, Pegasus does back up, blink out. Now they're looking to rotate here to top. MVP really wants to pick someone off so they can make something happen afterwards. The gem no longer on uh, on Bulba. He threw it onto uh, onto the bat, so uh, doesn't run that risk. Bat being a lot more survivable than him. Koiva here knows there's a lot of people top lane. Gonna push in bottom lane if he can. Um, and bats coming here to help him. Liquid really taking advantage of those boosts of travel to uh, position themselves around the map. Witch Doctor's running down, but his Radiant's rest of his team's not there to back him up, and uh, they're going to get a quick Radiant's pick off there on the tower. tower Meanwhile, Lycan's going to sick his uh, his minions here onto the the melee racks. And those wards going to be able to finish it off, maybe? Bat using his ult there to drag uh, Q out of position. To, to, oh my god, so close. Oh, just barely, not quite enough damage. Um, they did get another free tower, which is nice for them. Um... See the Aegis is going to be reclaimed in a minute. So Slark playing a little bit too safe. Safe. <laughs> safe. He's not getting as much done with it as he could be. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. And uh gonna get a pick off here. Balba trying to get some more damage on the tower without risking his life. Pegasus here waiting in the trees. Probably wants to go back out and push the lane again if he can. Koiva's pushing out top lane. Really wants to pressure those racks. Um Bulba, oh, he's gonna go doom, my friend! And there's not much this team can do to help him. That's a dead Murana. Um, Doombringer really showing the strength of his uh, ultimate. I think Pegasus wants to kill his bottom racks. He's trying to open up an opportunity for, for Bulba to come in bottom and, and uh, sick his creeps on it, but it's quite dangerous. Way 2 with the double damage has 25 seconds on his ultimate, so if they can get in there and get. Uh, get on the racks, he could probably finish it off. Oh man, he's going to run right into death. Can he get the distance? Goes for the TP, so a uh, good decision from him. That rider manages to pick off on Doom, that's no Doom um, in the next fight. No buyback, doesn't have enough money, so meanwhile Koiva is going to TP back to base. Needs the mana, doesn't really have um, enough to uh, in his tank to keep going. Way too hiding in the trees. Meanwhile, Kyo's going out trying to find someone to kill. Pegasus knows he's there, so they could potentially arrange a gank, but he's going to continue farming. Doesn't really think it's too feasible. Roshan going to be up again soon. Um, Forev, <laughs> everyone's decking out here in items. See some pretty high net worths, like in leading there on that front. Makes sense with the towers and the farm he's been getting. Um, <clears throat> In terms of items, both teams pretty well prepared for another fight, but it looks like uh, Liquid's been playing their strategy quite nicely with the push potential that they have. They're really well prepared to uh, to kind of rat out <laughs> the, 
the lanes. So uh, if they can get in there, they get a tower, they back up, they get a Rax, they back up, and they just keep building an advantage. Bear in mind that every time you kill a Rax, it means the lane's constantly pushing in, but it also means that um, those creeps are giving like half the gold that they would be otherwise to the other team. So if you can get uh, all of those lanes um, with, with uh, Rax taken out, that's a big gold disadvantage you're putting out the other team at over time. Slark coming in, wants to try and get some damage on Pexus. Does manage to grab him with his lasso, but he's gonna get, uh... Oh, jeez, he's gonna get... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pegasus is doomed, and that gem is not going to make it through this time. I think this time they know it's there. Uh, meanwhile, Lycan ratting out bottom, so that fight happened top and was pretty much in MVP's favor, but they're gonna lose the lane of Rax. I don't think they're gonna be able to stop it in time. This time around, TC gonna pick off on uh, on their opponent's mid. Oh, so you managed to save the range racks, but the melee racks is down, and that's what Liquid really wanted to take out. Oh, Bulba! Almost <laughs> gets the courier. Might pay with his life. He has a gem. Where did he get the gem from? Did he retrieve it from the trees? No, he got another gem. <laughs> There's so many gems littered around the map at this moment. Oh, Bulba taking a lot of damage here from March. Using the Ghost Scepter to save himself. Jumps off. Is going to be able to clear out in time. Don't think March is going to be able to prevent that. Um, it's so funny the amount of, uh, being attacked. Hero Dyson thinks he doesn't have any competition here. March coming in. Oh, and Bristle. So that's a lot of uh, TPs in. We'll see if they decide Dyer to fort. There's the fort. They're going to be able to hold the base for a little bit. Uh, they might lose the mid lane, though. Uh, MVP kind of tired of being Dyer's ratted. Figure, well, if you're going to break our base, we'll break yours. And it's going to be hard to kill Farad. Just so tanky with that. Uh... Oh, Doom blinked himself onto the Ultra Ward. I don't think the team knows about it. Uh, blinks back down. He's going to throw his Doom out on TC. TC not able to use his ultimate for the fight this time around. <laughs> Pegasus refreshes, uses uh, March as his next target there. TC's still willing to fight. Quite tanky with the Heart of Tarask there. Playbook running in, waiting in. Going to get March. March is going to fall. QO probably will die as well unless his team can save him. Uh, uses his ultimate to buy himself some time. Meanwhile, Ryze is going to get picked off. There's a buyback for Bristleback. Oh man, I hit the freaking console button again. Damn it, we still fight. <laughs> um, there's another pick off there on Spark. So two for one again. A great fight for Liquid. They did lose their Rax mid because of what happened. They're going to go in and close it on 4F. 4F is very tanky, but doesn't have the escape um, that he needs to get out of this. Not sure he's going to be able to escape. That Napalm's going to keep slowing him down. Just, oh my gosh, just takes so much damage. This is disgusting. Bristleback's so annoying. <laughs> There's the kill on 4F. So that's uh, 3 up versus 4 up for uh, for MVP. Not sure if uh, Pegasus got the spot there on the fact that Roshan's back up. Interested to see if Bulba's going to give him the gem back. So they know Roshan's back up. The Rosh Pit just littered. It's like when you go to the park and you people have left all their garbage around. <laughs> Koiva happy to tank Roshan at this point, doesn't really care about the damage coming out. I imagine it's going to be Bulba picking up the Aegis at this point. Wondering who's going to get the cheese. Uh, Bulba may choose to sell his wand um, to get the cheese. Has been killed by the dire. Oh, okay, so he picked up the Vlads. <laughs> just all these items left in the Roche pit. Uh, pretty much just one lane of racks worth uh, going for at this point. Um, the range racks, like just a little tap away from death. If Koiva manages to send in his his, uh, his wolves, he'll be able to take it out without too much trouble. Bulba, notice the gem. There's a gem. The gem you lost earlier. Oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> TC, pretty easy pick off here on the tower. And uh, MVP would Radiant be doing themselves a disservice were they to choose to uh, attack into that. Mirana ulting. That's going to prepare them for positioning here on the fight. Koiva pushing up top. They don't know he's there. Um... They did throw down a ward here, which is going to spot with his necro dudes. Chooses not to go for it. Gets picked off by the creeps. Oh, uh, Lycan's going. He's going for the base. Koiva's going to go for the base. He's just going to attack onto the... Uh, he does have an Aegis, so he can keep fighting if he likes. 
I'm gonna try and pick off Keon. Keen. Keen goes down without much of a fight. Bryson gonna die as well. Maybe not. <laughs> Uses his ultimate. Pegasus. Uh, Pegasus um, prevents it with the flame break. Tries to TP out. No luck. TC is gonna go in here. They're gonna finish off the base. MVP can't do anything to stop them, and that's GG. Victory goes to die. Fantastically well executed rat Dota there from uh, from Liquid and uh, MVP just couldn't keep up with it. Uh, Liquid for a little bit was um, falling behind there on on the golden experience and looked like MVP was going to be able to uh, pull it out, but um, Liquid really really taking advantage of their base pushing abilities as well as Marana's ultimate, doing a really good job keeping that gem up, keeping Slark from uh, really capitalizing on his shadow blade. And you see, he actually ended up selling his shadow blade in favor of a blink because of all the detection that was coming out. So, uh, yeah, a very good game. Very long game. My goodness, 52 minutes. But uh, looking forward to the next one. It's best of three. So uh, we'll see if Liquid can close it out or if MVP can come back uh, from a deficit. All right, that's all for now. I'll be back in a few minutes.